Hey, what's up? Aaron Kellum here, and this is the second episode of the Tascam Porta Capture X6 uh, demo video series. If you didn't see the first one where I unbox it and kind of talk about uh, things that I'll be using this for, go back and watch that one and then come back over to this one. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to be showing you all of the uh, features of the device and we're going to be doing some A and B uh, testing of the device versus uh, my phone audio capture. So, really excited to dive into it. I've been using this for about uh, a week now, just kind of diving in, seeing the different features of it. And as a songwriter myself, somebody who is constantly having to make content of me singing, of me talking, of me playing guitar, all these various scenarios of needing audio captured, I've really been loving using this device. And so in this video, I really want to show you the ways that if you're someone like me, you're a content creator, musician, maybe you're a podcaster, maybe it's just literally content creation uh, to put out videos on social media, I want to show you specifically how you can use this advice and uh, show you how simple and easy it is to use this. So let's go ahead and, uh, and dive into it. So this, the Tascam Porta Capture X6, uh, everything is just so simple to use. Uh, the usability, it's user friendly, it's just unbelievable. I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't read the directions at first. I want to see if I could just unbox it right away, start recording and it is that simple. If you didn't read the directions, I think you could get really incredible uh, stuff out of this. Uh, you should read the directions though, but it's so easy to use. Uh, so here's some features just on the unit itself. Uh, we've got uh, the microphones on the top, which you can do X, Y uh, as it's set up now for capturing audio, or they spin, they adjust. And so you can get uh, kind of the A, B, more stereo effect audio like that. They do not come off, so if you're wondering, do those uh, attach, detach to plug in something else? They do not. They're uh, fixed features of the device. Uh, but the quality of, of these microphones are great, so I don't know why I'd want to take them off. Anyway, on the side here, we have two XLR inputs. Uh, if you need a quarter inch input, that, I would say that's the only downside maybe of the device. It does not have that, so you'd have to get an adapter a quarter inch into an XLR adapter to use this. But there are two separate channels for that. There's um, a mic in, so if for some reason you're wanting to capture audio from something else into this, you could do that. Or there's a line out feature, say you're wanting to use this if you're filming content and you want to go directly into an XLR uh, camera or something like that, there is a line out feature. Uh, there's a headphone jack here, so that way when you're setting up your audio, uh, you can listen back to what you're doing. You can play back and listen through the headphone. There is also an internal speaker on this. Uh, you just go in and you have to change a setting, uh, which I'll show you as well. And uh, you can use internal speakers as well, as opposed to the headphones. Headphone volume here, up or down. The front of the unit, here we have our screen. Uh, you've got a home button, your stop button, play, pause, record. Uh, you can fast forward. Uh, rewind. Here's your menu button. This mark button is brilliant. This is a really great button. Say you're filming a podcast and there is a certain moment you're like, ooh, that was a special moment. We don't want to forget that. While you're recording, if you just hit this mark button, it'll automatically mark that spot for you. So when you go back to playback, you can sift through the different marks that you put in and it'll take you right to that moment. I think that's such a great feature of this device. Over on this side, we have our micro SD card slot. We have a USB slot here for USB-C uh, input, and that will uh, act as a charging uh, input, or also uh, you can uh, use it to plug into a computer so you can get all the files off of your SD card, which is a really great feature of the device as well. Uh, and a third thing that these, this USB input will do, which I think is incredible, is that this unit will actually act as an audio interface to so say, you want to run a session in Logic and you're out in the middle of a field and you didn't bring uh, any type of unit to record audio into Logic or Pro Tools or GarageBand, this will act as an audio interface for you into your DAW, which I think is really incredible. And then right here we have our on-off switch, so let's go ahead and turn this on so we can check it out. Again, after using this, uh, it's asking me right now if I want to have phantom power on, just in case you saw that pop up. Uh, I'm going to say no for right now. I was just using it in a situation where I was needing fan and power, so it always turns on going back to where you left off, which is also a really cool feature about it. So I'm going to take us to uh, the home screen, which is the launcher menu. And here, I think this is just brilliant. First of all, it's touchscreen, which 
amazing, love that. Uh, you're gonna see different uh, selections. So you have manual, you have music, you have voice, you have ASMR. These are the different types of recording that you'll be doing. There's field recording for when you're outside and want to do field recording, podcast recording. So you can choose based on what you're using it for and it will choose the best recording settings and like uh, preferences for you. It's already set up. Uh, if you're doing your podcast, you would just click on podcast. This screen comes up and it shows you your levels. Uh, it shows you your mixer here so you can make sure you're not peeking anywhere. Uh, if you do start peeking, you can also see right here there's going to be a little light that comes on when you're peeking uh, that'll show you. So there's different areas that you can see if you're peeking. And as soon as you want to start recording, you simply just hit that record button and it starts going. Amazing. So if we go back, we hit that menu button, go back to the launcher. You can see all the other different areas, the music, the manual. This is what I'm going to be using this for the most, I believe. Uh, when you click on manual, it's going to show you all the inputs. So that way, uh, I envision myself using this a lot if I'm recording a live performance. Say I want to go out in a field because a lot of things I'm needing to do is cool backgrounds, live performance videos. And I don't want to take a computer and all of this recording equipment. I want something just like this. So I'll plug in my guitar, I'll plug in my microphone. And then also I like having the ambiance of the outside. So uh, in the manual mode, I can actually use these, the top microphones and also my two, and I can do a full mix of everything. That way I'm getting some of that live outdoor sound while also capturing uh, just my voice and guitar through uh, the side inputs here, which I think is amazing. Also on this menu screen, uh, you will find, if you go into, uh, let's go to browse here, the browse button, it'll show you your recording. So anytime you have a recording, they're gonna be right here. You can hit play, you can click on the recording, uh, play it, file information, you can delete it here, uh, you can change the name of it here, you can mark it here, so say you like, oh I hit, forgot to hit that mark button, but I really want to make sure I remember it. 108 in this like file right here, I want to remember that moment. You can mark it um, even after recording, which I think is great. Also what I find incredible about this device, uh, if you go into general settings, you go into iOS settings. You're gonna find your phantom power. Uh, so for me, the DI that I'm using for my guitar, you have to have phantom power for it. So I need phantom power. This offers that for both channels, which is really great. And you don't have to turn it on for each one. You can do them separately. So if your guitar needs it, but microphone doesn't, you only uh, you have the option of only turning it on one channel, which I think is great. Uh, you have some input trim here, which is a great option. I uh, probably won't have to use it too much because this is a 32-bit floating device as well. And so it's going to uh, kind of stabilize audio. So if things get too loud, it's going to make sure that they don't peak. If things are too quiet, it's going to make sure that you can boost those levels without hurting the audio in any way, which is very impressive about this device. And uh, here is the feature as a musician and a songwriter. This is one of my favorite things about this device. There is reverb on this device, and it's not cheesy stock. Uh, set it and nothing can happen. Uh, you have different types of reverb. So we have a large hall, a small hall, room studio plate, plate two. And then also uh, you can set the level of the reverb, which I haven't seen a lot in devices like this. Most devices there are, you have a hall reverb and it's loud and kind of gross and chunky, but that's it. Uh, for this one, you can actually, if you want a loud and big enormous reverb you can do that if you only want just a little bit you can do that and i think that's an incredible feature uh, so that way when i'm out in that field doing the live performance it's not just a dry sound that i need to go back and edit to put some reverb on it's doing it for me on the device uh, which is absolutely amazing all right so let me take you back to this home screen here uh, let's just go into this uh, voice option of recording and so this is just really going to dial in uh, your voice in the recording and the settings that they have on here are honestly perfect. You don't really need to adjust too much. The only thing you might need to adjust is the gain level, uh, which even with at that with a 32-bit recording, uh, you're probably not going to need to do much at all with the gain. If you do, all you have to do is click on this microphone and you can turn the gain up right here, up or down, whatever you need. Uh, but for this type of recording in this situation, that's really all you're going to need and the quality of sound is really great. Let's go back in, say you're doing uh, a music recording. This is really great. So right now, uh, this is the screen for the music. And uh, if you go in to where it says no preset, 
Maybe you're just doing a guitar tutorial and so you want it to sound good for a guitar. This will have presets for different instruments. You have piano, acoustic guitar, vocal, a wind instrument, string instrument, or a full band. So if it's a guitar tutorial, just click on this guitar uh, preset and it already has like levels and EQs, compression of things uh, that would be good for an acoustic guitar, which I think is great. If you click on this microphone right here, it's gonna show you your inputs. So you can go and choose uh, the top mics are input three and four. And then right here, if you need phantom power, it'll, it'll let you choose left channel or right channel, which is great. So you can just turn it on right here. Um, there's an auto gain option. This is another cool feature, low cut. So say you're recording voice and you don't want a lot of that low end rumble, you can change uh, the low cut setting here. There's a noise gate on here, which is really phenomenal. Whatever uh, technology they have for this noise gate, it's very impressive. I was recording a little bit earlier with this and the outside noise was treacherous. There is a limiter compressor on it, so you can add some compression to it if you like, or you can turn them both off. Uh, this is really cool about this unit. Uh, there is EQ on this unit, so if you go in here, EQ, it has some auto EQ, so if you don't know much about how to EQ different things, you can just type or click on voice, guitar, loud, vocal. If you do know much about EQ and you want to adjust it yourself, there is a manual EQ on here, which is really phenomenal. So say you know with your voice you like to add a little high end, you like to cut out the low end, you can do that manually right here which is just a wonderful feature. And then also there's a phase invert low uh, left channel, right channel, channel on there as well. So that's everything for the music options that you might need. Here's the field recording. Again, if you want a preset, uh, it's got city, it's got nature, vehicle, bird, so different options depending on where you're filming your content of how it's going to adjust the EQ, adjust the compression, uh, adjust the noise gate, which is just really great. And then also you can click on the microphone and change the gain levels. Just really wonderful how they've already had everything set up for different scenarios that you're going to need this for. If we go back in, we can go to the ASMR. And this one, uh, you can see right now it's not picking up uh, the sound super loudly because with ASMR it's uh, very detailed and controlled setting. So uh, with this one, you're seeing the stereo field. Again, you can adjust your gain here. Uh, but when you listen back to this, and, and we'll show you an example of this a little later on, uh, it's really wild just how intricately and uh, detailed it picks up all of the sound on this ASMR setting. And then lastly, here is the podcast setting. In this one, uh, you have your home, uh, which is this screen here, so it's showing you your levels. It's showing the padding on everything, just making sure nothing's clipping. You have your mixer here, uh, so you can turn off that microphone if you don't want to use the top one. Uh, you can turn on A and B if you're wanting to use the side ones. Different options of what microphones you're wanting to come through. And that is all of the uh, different recording options inside of the unit. All right, so those are a lot of the features of this unit, which are, I just think, incredible. So let's go, I hear this in action real quick. So the settings I'm using for this one are the music recording settings, and I just, I don't have any instrument set on it, uh, no reverb, and uh, everything's just coming straight through the microphones here, set up in an XY pattern. And so you're just getting the raw audio coming through to hear what it sounds like with a louder instrument, like a upright piano. Spending all my time right here waiting for you And if I had to, I'd spend a lifetime waiting for you Waiting for you It seems like everything you say has got a way Of bringing me right back into your arms where I want to stay So I'll be right here waiting for you I'll be right here and right here waiting for you. So we're outside where I know a lot of times we shoot and film content. If you are on social media, you gotta film a lot of content outside because there are views like this that 
keep people watching your videos. And so I wanted to test out the Tascam outside. Right now I'm just on the music setting and uh, I don't have any instrument chosen. So I don't have guitar or vocal or anything. I just have no preset on it, no reverb, and I'm running the 32-bit uh, floating audio. So that way we don't get any peaking. And if anything gets too low, it's an easy uh, audio file to, to pull up the audio. So that's what I'm running for in this little outdoor session that I'm having. If I stay on this train Will I ever find my way I'm tired of waiting Ooh, They say life is what you make it And if I just keep on chasing Will I ever reach that station Somewhere down the road A place of our own To rest our souls and we can call it home And yeah, we can call it home And yeah, we can call it home All right, so there you go. Those are the features of the Tascam Porter Capture X6. There are so many incredible things on this unit for creatives, for musicians, whoever it is using this for their content. Uh, there are so many features that I think will be well-versed for you. Again, I'm Aaron Kellum. Thank you so much to Tascam. Thank you to Performer Magazine. Go check out video one if you haven't seen that yet, and then stay tuned for video three where we're gonna be doing some A-B testing on this unit against uh, our cell phones, which is what most of us are capturing audio, audio on, and you're gonna see the vast difference in quality.